change. Yeah. yeah, much colder, like a 20 degree drop mm. in our daytime highs. Our temperatures in the gorge are going to be below freezing for Saturday and Sunday. We're expecting some snow also for some lower elevations. So talking about those impacts, if you plan on driving up to our mountain passes or you're taking a, a route over to the coast, a few things that you'll need to take note of here before you head out the door. Current conditions 54. That's in Portland. Wind is calm for the most part, but you can see out there in Kalama, wind is picked up between about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, your temperatures later on, we're talking about early morning, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, will be in the low 30s once again, just above freezing for us in Portland, about 40 degrees in Tillamook, and 30 for you, the Dalles. So, starting off cold tomorrow morning, and then our temperatures don't warm up much from that point forward. Take a look at this. So right now, Mountain Meadows, it's 37. This is going to be close to your daytime high for some valley locations as we get to Saturday and again on Sunday. A nice view from the top of the Cascade Share, though, and we are going to be adding on more mountain snow for you. It could be anywhere from six inches at the high end as much as almost a foot. Again, above the tree line for the most part. So let's take a look at some of those numbers, those potential numbers. And by the way, these numbers have changed pretty much every single day. So as we're now into Thursday, as we take a look at what's going to happen starting Friday afternoon, rolling all the way to Saturday night, a potential to see something measurable fall over the valley. However, just because something measurable falls doesn't mean it's going to stick at this time of the year. If we were in January, this would be a different story. So you might see the snow falling in the valley, but you're not likely to see it stick just because we're way too warm leading up to this point. Now for our mountain passes where we will remain in the 20s over the weekend, we could see anywhere from three to four inches right around government camp. You go up a little bit higher to 5,000 feet. Some of our local resorts, places like Timberline or Meadows, we could be seeing something closer to about 6 inches to as much as 12 inches if we get this wraparound moisture to happen on Sunday. Uh, places like Bend could pick up 4 inches of snow. Again, this is from Friday night just to Saturday night. And out towards Pendleton, upwards of 3 inches of snow as well. Here's your ski report. Of course, nothing new has fallen in the last 24 hours or really for most of this week. But you have a base of 138 inches at Timberline and Meadows, 109. So let's take a peek at what we're seeing so far. So in comes the next system. It drags in really cold air from the north and it's coupled with some pretty decent moisture for us on Friday night through Saturday morning. Initially, snow levels will be at 2000 feet, dropping to 1500 feet as we get to early Saturday morning. But here, just take a look uh, at Friday night. This is Friday at 8 o'clock, some heavier showers coming through, and it's in those heavier showers where we could momentarily see some lower snow levels, even below 2,000 feet. But between the valley and the coast, crossing over any of your passes, that's where you're likely to run into some snow early Saturday morning. Now, as we get to Saturday evening, a lot of this moisture is starting to break apart as the system transitions to the south. But guess what we're doing now? We're dragging in colder air from the east, pulling it right through the gorge. So one of our classic setups for snow in the metro is whenever we can get much colder air just to this area. But that means areas south of Portland not likely to run into any snow because at this point that'll be too warm. As we get to Saturday night, a few snowflakes possible, but then look that system. It appears as though it comes right back around. And if that is the case, then we're talking about more snow for the gorge and because we are dragging in colder air that means something that might actually stick if not actually on i-84 to the sides of the roads impacting some of those side roads also let's say you're going into upper hood river valley something to pay attention to in the next day or two seven day forecast does include yes more sunshine on the way with temperatures in the low 60s as soon as next tuesday all right thanks natasha thank you we want to get to some break